Hello, hope you're having a good day. It's Peg here, back with a new, I think they're called vlogs. That's what I've been told. You're no longer blog, you vlog, video log. Anyway, um, I thought I'd use this uh, vlog to tell you all about some uh, emergency weight loss I've been doing and to share my thoughts on what's worked and maybe what's not worked so well. Because basically, if you've been following the written blog, you'll know that... Um, I went off traveling for a year, didn't follow my own advice, didn't follow my own program, put on a couple of stone. I've made very heavy weather of losing it since we got back, but I have done it, I have done it. But I was going off to London to record a, uh, a show reel because I'm trying to get into TV presenting. And so I wanted to just get a bit more emergency weight loss before I got down to London. So I decided I was going to try all sorts. And I thought I'd share with you how it went and, and some thoughts on that. So the first thing I did actually was I did Slimming World for a month. Now, um, I also decided to throw the scales out because if you follow my 21 suggestions of how you keep weight off, you'll know that I'm not a big fan of scales. I think every single one of us who struggled with weight n knows what it's like to feel really good about yourself and then you get on a set of scales and you feel absolutely awful. And for no reason, five minutes before you felt great and just because of the number on it. So I just think scales can be uh, more detrimental, really. So I do try and avoid them. So I have to say, during this time, I didn't make weigh, weigh myself, but I was keeping a real track of how my clothes felt and how big I felt. So I did Slimming World for a month, but I did weigh myself because I'd signed up to the programme. I was doing it and um, I kept, kept it religiously. I didn't cheat kept under five sins many days, didn't lose a single pound in a month. Honestly, I was so upset. But what I do remember is that when I was doing a food replacement diet earlier in the year, um, there was one point where I was living off 600 calories a day, didn't cheat, kept to it. Over four weeks, I lost two pounds. And then what happened was it all came off all in once afterwards. So I don't know whether the fact that I did lose weight in time for me going to London to record this show reel happened because I kept a slimming world and it all just came off afterwards but you know that was one thing I did but it was really hard to keep going afterwards when I realized I wasn't losing anything so then I decided to try 5-2 but I decided to up it a bit and I actually did alternate day fasting or at least 5-2 but what I have done because I find it easier is I use the food replacement packs and um, you can buy them from lots of different places you can buy them online you can buy them in Superdrug these days 600 calories for a day but it just means everything is monitored everything is measured and you haven't got any guesswork four packs a day uh, and and you're doing the fast so I did do that as well I also did a number of other things oh I should say though I did eat pretty much whatever I wanted actually as well I was fasting because there's some research there was some research in America right at the early stages of fasting and it was actually looking at alternate day fasting but that research found that it didn't matter what people ate the rest of the time actually they still lost the same amount of weight with fasting so I thought okay it doesn't matter I enjoyed myself and uh, I didn't watch my weight the rest of the time I also did tapping now I don't know if you've heard of this it's called sometimes EFT uh, emotional freedom technique and the idea is that you uh, you tap basically acupuncture points in your body um, and I did tapping I, I got a book all about tapping for weight loss and I, I did some tapping I didn't do it every day but I did some tapping I also signed up to go on this machine called the Flabolos machine and I signed up for 12 sessions and I went about four times a week, 10 minutes, you smell there, it goes like this. <laughs> and it's supposed to be the equivalent, 10 minutes on it, it's supposed to be the equivalent of an hour in the gym. So I did that, and to be honest, it's dead easy. I would uh, put a visualisation tape on my headphones, put it on, and then just go <laughs> like that for 10 minutes. Really, it wasn't, it wasn't very difficult at all. I also did do daily visualisations and meditations, seven-minute meditations, about the fact that when I got to London for this, doing this tape, I would feel really happy with my body. The other thing I did do as well was I went for this thing called a shrinking violet wrap. And that was a lot of money. Uh, oh God, was it, was it 50 quid or 75 quid? It was a lot of money anyway. And I went for that and uh, got wrapped up in stuff and plastic for an hour. And that was supposed to make me lose a dress size permanently. Now the thing about the shrinking violet wrap was that not only did I have to go for the wrap, but three days before, I had to not have any coffee, any alcohol. I had to cut down on carbs, which wasn't a problem because I was fasting most of the time anyway and no processed food and to do the same afterwards. Um, but it was a 
bit of a difficulty for the coffee because frankly when you're fasting coffee is about the only thing that gets me through the day so anyway so which of them did work well I have to say I think they all worked probably apart from the wrap I wasn't so convinced by the wrap I think it was more to do with all the food I cut out before and afterwards um I was measured and the measurements did show some loss between half an inch and an inch in various places but can't help feeling I was measured in slightly different places before and afterwards. Maybe I'm just cynical. Wasn't so convinced by that. But the rest of it, all I do know is that the weight fell off. And as I was saying, a lot of the rest of the time, I was eating whatever I wanted, actually. I was going to parties, eating loads of cake. Uh, I was drinking alcohol. Not loads, because I don't drink loads, but uh, I was. Uh, if I was out and I fancied a snack, I'd have something. So I was um, eating food I wouldn't normally eat. There is something else I did, though, as well, which made quite a big difference, and that was when I went to Debenhams. I spent 44 quid on a brand new pair of Spanx. Not the cheap version that I sometimes get, the cheap alternatives, but proper Spanx. And part of the reason I knew I was, I was um, losing weight was that when I tried them on, it was like an assault course. Honestly, I reckon I'll use up about 500 calories just trying to get them on. Honestly, it was revolting <laughs> trying to get these things on. There was me thinking I was losing weight and it almost felt like a surgical procedure to get this fat inside these spanks. And uh, first time it was really hard. And then after that, they were going on really easily and spanks are not meant to expand. And, you, you know, that, that's the whole point about them. They're really tight fabric. So, um, yeah, so the weight was just falling off. Which bits of it worked? Um... I actually, I think it probably was the combination, and I think it was the fact that I believed it would work, actually. It might be that the slimming world just fell off me a few weeks later. Um, the fasting, lots of research show that does work for people, but for most people don't keep to it. That's why it doesn't work. But that's the research. With most diets, most diets work. The thing is, you've got to keep to them. I uh, really like the Flab Loss machine. It did make me feel more energised. It made me feel more toned, and the tapping always makes me feel good as does the visualisation. So what I'm saying is, really, I think, try everything. That is my theory. It comes back to the same thing. What works for one person doesn't always necessarily work for another person. It's about what works for you, and maybe it's a combination. Maybe it's different things at different points in your life. I needed to do this for emergency. It worked for me then. So I think the thing is, don't give up. Trial and error. Keep going. Try different things. If something doesn't work, don't just go, oh, that's it. I can't lose weight. You know, I could have after the Slimming World or I could have after when I was on the, the Light Alive and only lost two pounds over four weeks. I could have gone, oh, I can't lose weight. My body won't let me. But no, you you got to keep going. Keep trying for you. And just because something doesn't work one time, don't give up that it won't work another time, basically. And uh, just good luck. So after I'd done this tape, though, I went on holiday for a week and undid all the good work that I'd done. So back to the, to the fasting. Um, and once I've down to where I want to be back on my program because the one thing I would say is with my keep weight off solution I kept to it for five years and it was fine I go traveling for a year and it all goes to pot I suppose it speaks for itself really doesn't it anyway have a good day bye